guys welcome and welcome back to my channel yeah so for this video we're gonna watch another my story animated video we're going to be watching i don't care about anyone so i'm hoping this main character is not a narcissist and just cares about themselves thinks about themselves all the time but yeah so we're gonna see how this person doesn't care about anyone and yeah let's go Walking around the school garden was my exact definition of peace. I brought a purple flower up to my nose, and then suddenly, I felt my chest tightening. I reached what? for my inhaler and panicked when I realized I dropped it on the way here. Oh god, was I gonna die? We just started, everything's moving so fast, man. <laughs> whoa, whoa, calm down a little bit. Calm down, heart. Looking for this? I turned to see Axel, the most attractive guy in school, and he Ew, was holding my Axel. inhaler. It was the first time he'd ever talked to me. Oh, thank God. Give me that, please. As I was taking some puffs, he kept looking at me, and it made me feel worse instead of better. Yo, but like, doesn't Axel kind of look like Eren Yeager? Like, Eren Yeager? Jeez, I don't know. It's a hairstyle or something, but girl, that's not Axel, that's Eren Yeager. Careful, it's gonna turn into a titan anytime soon. It made me feel worse instead of better. I looked away and continued calming myself down. When I turned to him again, he was gone. This boy he vanished was into so thin mysterious. Air. He'd joined our school a year ago, and no one knew anything about him. Hi, my name is Olivia, and I have a chronic Olivia. breathing condition called asthma. I wasn't allowed to join any active sports <laughs> and have some... She's getting to the Naruto ride. Before I continue, please like and subscribe. Did you guys like and subscribe? Did you like and subscribe? Okay. Let's carry on. It was the weekend, and I'd invited my best friend Tori to play golf with me on our private course. I told her what happened Whoa. yesterday, and she started squealing like a hyena. <laughs> oh my god, bestie. Oh my Maybe he secretly likes you. Nah, he just tried to help me. Well, he never talked to any girl before, so it definitely meant something. Ooh, it does. He's not my type anyway. He's too mysterious for me. Rumor has it that he has a gang outside and they love beating people up and burning things down. Those are called the Titans. That's what they do. They beat people up and burn things down. <laughs> but that will make your love story even cuter. The title would be The Mafia Boss and His Queen. Ow! Period. Just stop with your Wattpad fantasies already. Suddenly, a private oh, wow. jet landed nearby and I was shocked to see who came out. Liam. He was my childhood friend who'd moved Liam. to Germany when we were 10, and I hadn't seen him in five years. I could hardly recognize him. He looked like a prince. He, he, he ate. And spun me around. I missed you so much, gorgeous. <laughs> I missed you too, handsome. Okay, this friendship is a little... Okay, what's going on? Uh, they're like friends or... What exactly is this? Oh. Just then, he spotted Tori standing behind me. Why are you playing golf with your maid, Olivia? Nah, Liam. I'm I'm not I'm getting bad vibes from Liam. I'm getting bad vibes from this guy. Spoiled rich brat who thinks he can do anything. I'm getting bad I'm mm -mm. Hey, you. Get me some fresh orange juice. Quick. Hello? Do I look like a maid to you? Liam, she's not my, oh my maid, gosh. and her name is Tori. She's my high school best friend, so please be nice to her. Ah, uh, okay. Whatever. I need to see your mom. We have a lot of catching up to do. As he ran off to our mansion, mm -mm. Tori gave me a disapproving look. Girl. This is your childhood best friend? The guy you've been telling me so much about? Yeah, and he sucks. She should just go back to Aaron Yeager. Just date Aaron Yeager, bruh. He's cuter. He sounds like a jerk. He must be tired from the flight. Trust me, he's a nice guy. When I came to school the next day, I saw all the girls gathered in the parking lot. I checked to see who all the Liam. was about. Oh my god, this boy really just came up. He rocked up to school in a golden helicopter. How big is that school parking lot to just take a whole helicopter? <laughs> oh my god. The extraness is too much. I'm coming out of his golden chopper with his bodyguards rolling out a red carpet. For hey, me. what was he doing here? He be that Morgan, boy. The most annoying brat in the world accidentally tripped over something invisible right in front of him. Oh my god, my dress. <laughs> it's worth 237.69 million. Okay, you shouldn't have to tell us all of that. <laughs> all this info we didn't need to know. Like, <laughs> what? 
Take that money and buy yourself some uniform. Why is she wearing a random dress? Isn't she part of the school? Dress? It's worth $237.69 million. And now it's dirty. I need some love and comfort. Liam ignored her and grabbed a <laughs> megaphone instead. <laughs> Attention, everyone. Call yourself lucky because I'm joining your school now. And ladies, I know I'm super handsome and irresistible. Oh my god, no. The vibes I'm getting from those guys just mm -mm. all the bad vibes. Everything is just wrong with this guy. And he's not even that cute. Oh my gosh, and the girls are just like looking at this golden Ugh Jeez. Liam, you need to relax. Irresistible. But unfortunately for you, I'm unavailable. He sounded so pompous. But Morgan and the rest of the female population suddenly looked like depressed vegetables. And they didn't look happy to see him walking down the hallway with me. Or sitting right next to me during class. But for some reason, all I could think about was Axel's empty seat at the back. Later that day, we had some important exam results being posted on the bulletin board. And I was shocked when I didn't see my name at the top spot. Holy mother of frogs. Who took it? it? Axel this time. I don't understand. He either sleeps in class Let's or gar. doesn't even attend them. But he's always in the top five. And now he's freaking number one? How is hey. he beating me? Maybe he studies in dark alleys all night after beating someone up. As I turned around, <laughs> he crashed hell? straight into someone behind me. It was Axel. If you're curious... You only have to ask. Okay, then. Why don't you tell us? It's a secret. I'll have to come a bit closer. As he bent his head down to my ear, I suddenly felt my heart skip a beat. He brushed Eesh. a strand of hair away and whispered, I'm just really, really smart. Oh, flex on her, Axel. Flex on her. Olivia just needs to study a little bit more. Olivia, you know, like, just study. Study, study, study. Girl. Okay, I like Axel. I don't know. I hope he doesn't become a douchebag, but then I like Axel so far. Liam sucks. Smarter than you, for sure. I might be smarter than Einstein himself. Gosh, he was so arrogant. I was about to push him away when suddenly Liam did it for me. Who are you? Hey, look at me. I'm Aaron Yeager. And you? You are Armin. Hey, relax. Relax. <laughs> Yo, please, they look like Armin and Aaron. I don't know about y'all, but I, I, I'm just seeing Armin and Aaron up in here. Ugh. Who are you? And can you step away from Olivia? I could ask you the same thing, but I'm not interested, actually. Axel turned around <laughs> and left, Whoa. and Liam looked really annoyed. As I started walking down the hallway, he followed me and asked me out for dinner that night so we could catch up. That sounded nice, and I agreed. He took me to a really fancy restaurant, and we mm. were having a good time. Until our order arrived, and suddenly Liam started yelling at the waiter. Damn, bro. ordered a sizzling steak, not your stupidity. Liam, what, what are the you doing? Heck? It looked completely fine. The chef came out and asked us what the problem was. The steak doesn't sizzle enough, and it's not even the center of the plate. This is the stupidest food presentation I've ever seen. You're fired. Oh my god. Liam is like, he's winning at this point. It making me not like him at all. He is winning. Ugh. Such a little jerk. You're fired. Uh, eh? Sir, you can't do that. I own this restaurant. My dad owns half the city. And I'm going to have your restaurant shut down for food poisoning. Come, Olivia. What the Liam. heck? As we stepped outside, I turned to him furiously. Liam, you're unbelievable. How can you talk to people like that? I can talk to anyone any way I want. Olivia, oh. this was mm -mm. supposed to be a perfect date and they ruined it i'm only angry because it meant so much to me no one ruined anything except for you uh, wait a date i thought this was just dinner between friends come on i told every girl in school that i'm unavailable and you must know that everyone is expecting us to be together right? come on like olivia were you really dead dumb to not think what like this date was about like girl no wonder you got second place <laughs> oh my gosh Right? I want it. Our families want it. But I don't want it. I don't even think of you that way. And who are you to decide things for me? Why are you being so difficult? Don't mess things up like this, Liam. I miss the old you. The sweet little boy who used to be my best friend. 
I'm not necessarily a school boy anymore. Back. I won't just settle for being your friend, Olivia. I'll do anything to be more than that. And at that Damn, moment, bro, I just knew that a little bit more determined than I expected. The, us. the next day at the canteen, Tori and I spotted Axel in one corner looking anxious as he talked to someone over the phone. <laughs> He's probably talking to his advisor. Advisor? For what? Every mafia boss has his own advisor, and they're probably cool. planning on their next victim. I tapped her head to snap her out Jeez. of her crazy ideas, but my curiosity about Axel grew even more. I wondered what he was really up to whenever he disappeared. As he walked off, I decided to follow him and saw him heading to the library. Now was my chance to see how he studied, but he just spread out his notes, put his head down, and fell asleep. <laughs> I tiptoed and <laughs> snuck closer to see those notes, and noticed... But he had such cute handwriting. Suddenly, a hand grabbed mine, and when I turned my head, our lips almost touched. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my god! Let's go, excellent Olivia. I'm shipping the two of them. I don't like shipping, but then I'm gonna ship the two of them because damn, Liam sucks. And Axel has really nice hair, so let's go. Was he awake all this time? Yes. I, uh, I just wanted to grab that book next to your notes. I have a really important question to ask you, Olivia. It's now or never. Um, yeah? What? What is it? What lotion do you use? Your hands are really soft. <laughs> oh my gosh, Axel. You could have asked a better question than that. What lotion? Oh my, oh. Oh. Jeez. Your hands are really soft. Realizing that he was still holding my hand, I pulled away and came up with the lamest excuse. Uh, I, I really need to pee. Uh, bye! Later that day, I was in the Whoa. school elevator when he stepped in to join me. Please don't talk about the notes. Please don't talk about the notes. So, what was your deal with my notes earlier? Still trying to figure out how I'm getting better grades than you? I told you. I was aiming for that book beside you. He just smirked at me and was about to say something when suddenly Liam slipped in. Hey. There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Damn, I really don't like this guy. I really don't like him. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up if you don't like Liam either. <laughs> I've been looking for you everywhere. Suddenly, the elevator broke. Perfect timing. Axel started calling for help while Liam started pestering me. Why are you ignoring me? Is this about last night? Fine. I'll let that stupid chef go this once. Could we please focus Ugh. on the problem right now? We're basically stuck and it's so hot. Let's make it hotter then. Oh In my the god. Morning, Liam took off his shirt. Hey. He's, he's got the packs though. He's he's packing. Alright. Alright, Liam. Even though I don't like you, but you're packing. Six pack right there. Well, we don't know if the rest of the packs are there, but that's just a few that I saw. Liam took off his shirt and I was <sighs> stunned. When I turned to my right, Axel did the same and. Oh. <laughs> oh. E. Okay, Liam already had a nice body. You know, I like the, the, the dude. He's a nice body. But then Axel. Ooh, Deke. Or. My nose. I would have nose bled too. I would have nose bled and gave myself that Debbie Ryan ear tick like. Uh. Axel. You wanna go out with me? Liam, can I just touch your packs? But I'm not gonna go out with you. I'm just gonna touch your packs. But I'm gonna go out with Axel, so. Axel did the same, and holy cheese! If Liam had the body of a fitness instructor, Axel had the body of a Greek god. Oh, wow! looked like a stupid potato between them. What, who, why, why did you take off your shirt too? You're right. It's really hot. I might die of hyperthermia and suffocation. Before I could collapse, <laughs> the elevator doors finally opened. Oh, thank God. I immediately rushed to the restroom and used my inhaler to calm myself from the traumatic incident. One night, while I was giving out food and cash to some beggars, I spotted someone in a leather jacket exchanging something with a suspicious guy across the street. I realized that it was Axel. I got out of my limo oh my to secretly Axel. follow them as they passed through an alley and entered a door that led to a basement. Oh my hey. god, was this their hideout? I was expecting to see a room full of gangsters, but it was the complete opposite. They're like anime, they call me call people, they're... They're cosplayers. They're anything but but mafia people. They're into playing League of Legends together. Yeah. So they're here just playing with Rubik's cubes. That's really very far 
far from <laughs> being a gangster. Okay. There were nerdy looking guys solving Rubik's cubes with super difficult shapes everywhere. I spotted Axel and he was the only one who looked different. What in the world? I met Axel's eyes across the room and he looked so shocked to see me that nah. he fell off his chair. He <laughs> acted like nothing had happened and <laughs> Axel is a funny guy. Axel is a really funny guy. Like, oh my god, he's cute. He's got a nice body. Kind of has sense of humor right now. So, what is? What else is there not to like about him? Please do not switch up, Axel. Please do not switch up. But yeah, the fact that he just fell off and then like, he's like, nobody saw that happening. Nobody saw that happening. I'm gonna get right back up. <laughs> That's amazing. Is Gore Team Axel? He acted like nothing had happened and continued solving his cube, but I couldn't help but smile. He was so cute. After the game, he was awarded second place, but he didn't <laughs> seem happy about it. He walked up to me with a disappointed face. I lost by 1.5 seconds because I got distracted when I saw you. It's the 57th Digital Qualifier Next Generation Championship Cup, and I should have won it to complete my badges. So he was actually a nerd who happened to look like a bad boy? Um, yeah, this is gore. I didn't mean to follow you. Suddenly, <laughs> the scariest nerd that? That I had ever seen charged toward Axel like a raging bull. I bet five million dollars on you to win. And I need to get it back, you loser. Get him, guys. Time to go. Axel grabbed my hand and dragged me out of the building. We fled on his motorbike, but hey. the goons kept following us and- Nah, not, not, not the goons following- a whole motorbike using their scooter? What the heck? <laughs> but the nerdy goons kept following us until we reached the countryside. Suddenly, it started raining really hard and we could hardly see anything. Axel had no choice but to pull over to the nearest waiting shed. Both of us were soaked to the bone as Okay, we and the goons the just stopped bench. following you guys. It looks like the Suddenly. rain wasn't stopping tonight and it was already so late. I called my parents to tell them that I was sleeping at Tori's house so they wouldn't be worried. I'm sorry you got dragged into all of this. No, no, it was my fault. I shouldn't have followed you. You lost the game because of me. It's fine. There are thousands of upcoming games anyway. I grabbed the chance to reveal our ridiculous theories about him. And it was Pokemon. the first time seeing him laugh. So you're telling me that all nerds are supposed to be blind and aren't allowed to wear leather jackets? It and all nerds are not supposed to have hot daddy hair. Okay. Okay, Axel, the hairstyle. We go eat Please, all nerds watching us, y'all better clean up your looks, wear your leather jackets, and have long daddy hair. Jackets. It, it, it was my f first time seeing one. You're shaking. He must be very cold. He took his leather jacket off and wrapped it around me, pulling me into a hug. I <laughs> hope my body heat can make you feel better. Um, yeah, it, it's helping. I'm relieved. Feeling so safe in his arms, I found myself closing my eyes with a smile. When I opened them again, I realized hey. that I'd been asleep on Axel's shoulder for hours. Hey. It was morning already. I woke him up and we rushed to the nearest store to buy some decent clothes. We changed into new ones and as we went to school together, <laughs> everyone looked stunned. But Liam looked furious. He Team Liam pulled me aside. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Why did you come with that stupid gangster? Buzz off, Liam. It's none of your business. I can't believe you're choosing him over me. We basically grew up together. Axel suddenly came up to me and handed me my undershirt from last night. You okay, Axel. That was just also a little bit like timing. <laughs> the timing there. Right in the middle of them and... Oh, I'm loving this. Yes. You forgot this in my bag. Everyone dramatically gasped, and I turned into the ripest tomato. I purposely started <laughs> coughing to distract everyone, but it only made Liam and Axel race to get my inhaler from my bag. Back off, man. Oh, you wait. Nah, off, they're gonna idiot. destroy it. Suddenly, Morgan jumped in between them. Boys, stop fighting over that trash with stupid lungs. I'm oh my god, Morgan. Uh, this is a girl. Oh my gosh, she's a girl. This girl. Oh. He's just gonna slap her across the room and like, go, go away, Morgan. But hey, ooh. That trash with stupid lungs. I'm right here. One of you can have me. I'll take either of you. Both the boys ignored her and continued glaring at each other. Okay, <laughs> that's enough. 
I'm not a damsel in distress who needs constant saving. I'm totally fine. Tori couldn't stop teasing me about everything that happened. I'm loving the fact that two hotties are fighting over you. But I'm Team Axel, obviously. Liam yes. is the villain in this story. Tori, I swear to God, my life is not a cheesy I'm Team Hex. Axel too. Like it anyway. She then walked away with a teasing smile. In the following days, Axel and I started hanging out, and it drove Liam even crazier. But I didn't care. <laughs> Liam, really you suck. Fun with him. He even introduced me to his friends at their club. One time, I tried to touch his favorite cube, but he panicked. Be careful. You have to hold it gently. It's the sixth generation, fully functional, limited edition cube. God, he was okay. such a hot nerd. Don't worry. I'll handle it with care. And then, I surprised him by solving it in less than a minute. Brains and beauty? You're really something else, Olivia. Suddenly, <laughs> Liam appeared out of oh. nowhere and challenged him. Let's have a polo match. Tomorrow after school. One on one. The winner can date Olivia, while the loser should back off. Forever. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> I'm hell? not a freaking trophy for a stupid competition. To my surprise, Axel replied, See you tomorrow then. As Liam walked off, I turned to Axel angrily, but he took my hand. It's the only way for him to back off. I promise, I'll win this. Okay, hey. but be careful. What happens I if you don't win? I to play fair. I was their only audience the next day, and I was a bundle of nerves. Minutes into the game, Axel was already being Liam's butt effortlessly. Are you ready to lose? Ask that to yourself, idiot. To my surprise, Liam suddenly hit Axel's horse with his mallet, causing it to panic and throw him off. Did we not see this coming? Liam is such a cheat. Liam is such a cheat. Oh my god. Or when we thought we couldn't hate him more, he just gets worse and worse. Off. Liam then grabbed the chance to hit the ball and shoot it at the goal. He then came up to me and smirked. You're mine now, <laughs> whether you like it or not. Nah, Over bro, you cheated. Body, Liam. You're not my best friend anymore. You're a monster. A very sexy and attractive monster. Well, at least Liam has some self-love. Some self-love for himself. He doesn't just like... <laughs> Besides the narcissism, <laughs> he's got some some self love, something there, something is, you know, he loves himself. He knows his worth. Whether you like it or not, over my dead body, Liam, you're not my best friend anymore. You're a monster, a very sexy and attractive monster. Axel got up and glared at him. You clearly cheated. This is not fair. We never had any rules, loser. Axel the lunged hell? forward to attack Liam, who suddenly snapped his fingers, and his bodyguard dragged Axel away. And I felt even angrier. Do you really think all this is helping you win me over? You're just making me dislike you more. Yeah. What do you think your parents would say if they learned their little princess is dating a gangster? Where's your proof? Axel is a decent guy, and he's also a genius. Yeah, bro, really it was a proof. Him, don't you? Finally, you got the hint. We'll see about that. The next day, I was surprised to see the whole school in a total mess. The walls were all ruined with spray paint, and half the lockers had been smashed. The principal was fuming. He checked the surveillance. Nah, don't, do not blame this on Axel. We can clearly tell that this is gonna be Liam, who faked everything to put, and then pinned this thing on Axel. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, Liam, Liam. I swear to God. If I could go into this, my story animated, just punch somebody, Liam would be the first person I'd punch. And then I come back out to do this reaction again and react to him and be angry at him again. Walls were all ruined with spray paint, and half the lockers had been smashed. The principal was fuming. He checked the surveillance footage, and we were all shocked to see who the culprit was. Axel. It couldn't be. I knew it. He couldn't accept the fact that I beat him in a game yesterday, so he threw a little tantrum. Suddenly, really? Morgan clung to Axel's arm. You could have destroyed me instead, Axel, babe, and I would have thanked you for it. <laughs> girl, have some Damn, this girl's thirsty. Eat this to fill your empty brain. Axel turned to me and said, "You know I couldn't do this, Olivia. Of course, only idiots would believe that footage. Unfortunately, the principal was one of them. Oh he my gosh! Immediately suspended Axel, and seeing Liam grinning made my blood boil." Obviously, he had framed Axel, but I had to find some proof first. Later that night, I sneaked through Liam's window and hid inside his closet. Soon, he 
He entered his room with a guy who was wearing the same outfit and hairstyle as Axel. <laughs> wow. And they were talking about how they had set him up this morning. I knew it. So this guy dressed up as Axel just chose to just stay with the same outfits throughout the next day also. How dumb. How dumb can they be? Oh my gosh. I made a video of the whole thing. And just then, I bumped into something and made a loud sound. Oh my god, the Olivia, second, you the dumb girl, door so... Open, and Liam turned into a psycho. You little witch, give me your phone or else. He was about to hurt me when his parents suddenly barged in. I showed them the video and told them about Liam's behavior. <laughs> and they were very disappointed. You're gonna regret this, Olivia. You'll see. To teach him a hey. lesson, his parents cut off his allowance and put him on a plane back to Germany. Damn. Sad because oh. I've lost my childhood friend, but he just wasn't the same guy anymore. Yeah, he's now, trash now. I finally focus on Axel. I headed to their club, but he wasn't there. I didn't find him at his mansion either. I tried calling him on his phone, but there wasn't any signal. Where was he? What if Liam did something to him before leaving? Go Feeling breathe. So worried, breathe. I suddenly had a hard time breathing, but I couldn't find my inhaler anywhere. Looking for this. I turned to see Axel and he was holding my inhaler. Oh. I ran Okay, Axel, like you're cute and everything, but can you stop taking her inhaler? Like this is her life you're playing with. Like if you, what if you're you like late with that thing? It could have ended badly. Okay. Okay. But I'll forgive you this once because you're just you're just hot. I ran to him with happy tears. I thought something bad had happened to you. I'm sorry if I got you worried. I just got busy doing something. He brought me up what to his is room, that? and I was shocked when he unveiled a huge painting-like Rubik's cube with my face on it. Axel, okay, this is Axel. Just amazing. You Olivia, got that talent, I've talent. I've you since the first time I laid my eyes on you, but I was too scared to get close to you because I knew I'd just fall for you. Mm -hmm. Well, I did. So what mm -hmm. are you waiting for? He responded by finally kissing me. Ew. True love's kiss, yes. It by finally kissing me, and it felt surreal. Damn, I Axel, you. okay. I love you too. Suddenly, Tori stepped into the room and started <laughs> yes, shouting like Axel. a monkey. I knew it. Wait, <laughs> had she been following me? Axel and I just chuckled at her craziness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that was such a nice ending. Oh, okay, guys, the story was actually very nice. I really enjoyed the ending. Liam sucks, and Axel wins. He is the Wattpad hot boy with the daddy hair that we needed in our lives here in My Story Animated. Yeah, I'm so happy they, were, and they ended up together. I just knew, I just knew Liam, I just knew Axel was not doing anything dodgy because like, girl, looks can be deceiving, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> sometimes you have to judge a book by its cover because sometimes the cover be so there in your face. So it's like, judge them. Yeah, not all the time, but judge them sometimes. But yeah, this was a very nice story. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to watch another story probably next week or something. I don't know. So, yeah. And I just want to say thank you to the 10 people who are going to watch this because like seems like people don't really watch this. But to the 10 people that are going to watch this, thank you so much for watching my video. Whose team were you at at the beginning? Were you Team Axel or Team Liam? And don't you don't think, don't you think that they kind of look like Attack on Titan characters like Aaron Yeager and Armin I don't know maybe it's just me but yes but that was a very nice story I'm gonna be watching m many more of these of these my story animated stories because like it just it get, it's getting better and better yeah guys so that's all for this video please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like reaction videos and commentaries and like some little edits and all of that and also please do share this video with your friends alien species ais martians you want to share whoever you want to share it with just do the most and then let's also get communicating down below in the comment section and thank you guys so much so so much for watching my video and without any further ado peace love and everything nice Mwah. bye <laughs>